We're here in Indrapilly, which is about seven kilometres west of Brisbane CBD. The house we're about to show you is a renovation designed to meet the requirements of an average Australian family. G'day Dion, how are you going? Well, thanks. Really good to see nice you again. Nice to see you. Jason, Gary. Gary, nice to meet you. Hi, Gary. Hi, Karen. Karen. How are you? Nice, nice to, meet to meet you. you. Hey, this is a great little house. It's a 1960s renovation yep. in the suburb of Indrapilly. Jason, what was here before? Uh, this was a, a post-war house. Um, yep. I bought the house in 1999. Not long after that, I met Karen. Okay. Um, so a very small house. She um, did right. She met a man with a house. That's yeah, I know. Right. She, <laughs> she lucked in. <laughs> so a five-row sort of, um, you know, five-row walls, uh, roofed house, uh, very yep. old-fashioned house. All right, well, without any further ado, I think we should be um, checking out the inside of the house. Yeah. Let's come on in. OK. This is the perfect house for a young family. It's tucked away in a quiet street and in close proximity to a park. Because the home is elevated, it allows for extra backyard space and room for the children to run around and make childhood memories. The home will grow and change with the family as they do. As they grow older, the spaces beneath the home can be converted into extra rooms as the kids approach their teenage years. Okay, so this is um, a really quite a big space in here, isn't it? Is yeah. now. Okay, so what, what, so what was it like before? Uh, the old house was a very was very small. Um, okay. The the house finished essentially where you are you're standing there, Gary. Okay, it was so the back the back wall right, of okay. the house, and the kitchen sat here. Um, okay, it must have been a pretty small kitchen. It was a very small kitchen. <laughs> um, you couldn't swing a cat in it. It was very small. Yeah. Okay. Have you ever tried to swing a cat in a house? I've never tried it. <laughs> <laughs> we always talk about it, don't we? <laughs> now, this, this, this kitchen here is actually quite sensible. Yeah, galley yeah. kitchen designed to be really a working person's kitchen, yep. you know, a cook's kitchen, so that uh, you've got a good amount of bench space, yep. you've got easy access to the stove, easy yep. access to the sink, pantries, it's all great. those. It's great. That pull-out spice, yep. um, that spice cupboard, or what would you call it, drawer? The spice mm -hmm. rack. Spice, yeah, rack, spice pulls, rack pulls yeah. pulls out. Yep. Really clever design. And you designed them in-house, yep. didn't you? we do all the interiors for, for most of our projects, yep. uh, right down to the spice rack. <laughs> <laughs> You can use that in your marketing. <laughs> yeah. uh, and uh, also you do the, so you do the interiors and also you do the um, landscapes Landscapes, well. and yeah, we do landscape, hardscape, and well, my wife does the softscape, so the product right. design. She does the soft stuff? Yeah. You, you do the hard stuff? We do the hard stuff, that's right. <laughs> what I particularly love in the kitchen is that every single detail has been considered. I mean, even down to the um, little windows that go out to, to watch the, the kids on the computer. Yeah, the, um, those windows look straight out to the, to the hallway and to the little um, the study nook there. Yeah. Um, and really, that's what it's designed for. But the kids are trying to convince us that that's where they order there. They, that's where they order, and that's where they pay at the next window. So. <laughs> Most of the living space is upstairs. The kitchen and dining space open out to the alfresco deck. The main bedroom is located at the rear. Downstairs is a laundry, amenities, and entertainment room. There is scope to build out the terrace to make extra space as the children grow. Well, guys, um, it's an amazing um, transformation. What was the total build transformation cost? I'd put it at about eight hundred thousand dollars. Eight hundred big ones. Yeah, including the, the builders, you know, the building contract. Mm. Okay, mm. that's great. Well, that, you know, this is the great thing about um, doing what you've done. You love the area. You, you love the position because you've got that beautiful park down the road. Yeah. And for that for the investment, you're able to stay here probably indefinitely. Of course, Dion's had a great job as usual. Mm. I might have to start calling you Super Dion. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's great. Thanks so much, guys, for um, for being it's part pleasure. of the show. Been a pleasure.